Hi everyone, it's Tarrant. And Stella here from Mipul University on the Dice Tower. Thanks for joining us. Today we'll be teaching you how to play Princess's Favour, game designed by Seth Schubach and published by Fungui Games. We are using a prototype copy of the game here, and so the rules and components may not be final. Let's get to it! In Princess's Favour, players are suitors fighting for the gifts and affections of the two princesses. Each turn, players will either offer gifts to the princesses, or maybe tricks against their opponents, or may stock up on cards for future rounds. Whoever gives the most gifts overall is stopped by the guard, while the other players lavish their gifts on the princesses, receiving gifts back in return, and whoever gets the most points from princesses' gifts will win the game. To set up, separate these cards from the rest of the deck. The princesses, Rosella and Loriini, each of their gifts, which is a matching stack of eight cards per princess, the guard, and the first player card, which you should give to the youngest player. Shuffle all of the remaining cards, and then deal five cards to each player. Players look at their starting hands and have a one-off opportunity to discard the hand and redraw up to five if they wish. You're now ready to play. Princess's Favour is played in rounds. In each round, each player will take one turn before you'll resolve the end of the round and then hand the first player to the next player for the next round. The aim of each round is to play the best combination of cards to earn gifts from the princesses. Each player's turn takes place in two steps. Firstly, you will draw one new card from the draw deck. Then you have an option. You may either draw a second new card from the draw deck, or you may choose any number of cards from your hand to play face down in front of you on the table. This is called preparing the cards. Once all players have taken a turn in this manner, it's time to resolve the round, and all players who did prepare cards for the round flip them face up. Now, starting from the first player and going clockwise around the table, you will resolve any special cards that you've played, and these are cards which don't show a number in the top left corner. Here, player 1 would resolve Gossip, and then player 3 would resolve Robbery. I'll come back and explain what some of these cards do at the end of the video. After special cards, it's time for the guard to act. All players add up the total value of any gift cards they've prepared, which is the sum of all numbers in the top left corners. Here player 1 has a value of 5, this player has 4, and this player has 3. The guard's job is to protect the princesses from anyone who is too eager, and so whoever has the highest total score has their cards discarded, and they're out of the round. If more than one player is tied for the most, then the guard does not act, and lets all players through. And if only one player prepared gifts, then the guard likewise does not act, and lets that player through to the princesses. Finally, it's time to win the princess's favour, and you'll resolve each princess one after the other. Princesses give gifts to the player or players who have the highest total value in gifts of that princess's preferred type. Rosella prefers gems, artwork and deeds, and Loriini prefers gems, chocolate and flowers. So, for Rosella, this player has a 2 point gem and a 1 point deed for 3, and this player has a 2 point deed for 2. While this player's gifts go only to Loriini, so this player would win Rosella's gift for the round. For Loriini, this player has 7 points in her preferred gifts, far more than either of the other players, so this player would receive Loriini's gift. If two or more players are tied for a specific princess, then each receives one of that princess's gifts. To finish the round, all cards that were played in this round are discarded, while players hang on to any gifts they've received until the end of the game. Rotate the first player card one step clockwise, and move on to the next round. The game ends once one of the two princesses has run out of gifts to give. Players then count up the gifts they've collected to determine their final scores. Each pair of dissimilar gifts scores 3 points, and each lone gift scores 1 point, so this player would score 3, 6, 7 points. 
the player or players with the highest score wins. There are eight different special cards in the game. You'll choose them as part of your card preparations, but then you'll get to play their effects after you've seen everyone else's cards and before the guard comes into play. With spies, you choose another player who must show you their hand. With tricks and trips, choose another player and discard one card that they've played on the table or one randomly from their hand. With refined copies, you can take one of the cards that you just played and put it back into your own hand. With window shopping, look at the top four cards from the draw deck and then rearrange them into whichever order you wish, trying to set it up so that you get the preferred cards in the next round. With robbery, take the highest value card that anyone else has played on the table and put that in your hand. With charming touch or gossip, you'll attach the card to any one other gift card on the table, adjusting its value. Charming touch will double the value of a card while Gossip will reduce two from it. When calculating the values, all Charming Touches are resolved before Gossips, regardless of the order they're played in, so this would always be four, three doubled to six, and minus two to four. These modifiers are all applied before the guard comes and decides who has the highest value to discard, and then before the princesses give out their gifts. Note as well that while Gossip can reduce the value of a gift down to or even below zero, such a gift is still considered to be higher value than no gift at all. For example, this art is worth negative one, but if nobody else had given Rosella a gift in this round, then the player will still get Rosella's gift in return. Finally, you can use the distraction effect to either stop the guard from discarding any player this round, or choose one of the princesses who will not give any gifts this round. All of these special cards give you a wide range of opportunities to try to manipulate the current round into your favour. And that's how to play Princess's Favour. Check out the project page of Princess's Favour. We'll put the link in the description below so you can check it out. If you find this video useful, please help us by hitting that like button and subscribe to the Dice Tower if you haven't already done so. And if you have any questions, comments or feedback, please leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.